it comes down to trying to expose yourself to the best things that humans have done and then try to bring those things in to what you're doing. I mean, Picasso had a saying, he said, good artists copy, great artists steal. Hey guys, it's Lindsay and the Galaxy Note 10 is out in the wild. Well, not technically out in the wild because South Africans don't have devices yet. I've seen a couple of US journos get their seeding review units, but yeah, we'll wait and see and when it lands, it lands. Let's look at the device. As you know, it was codenamed DaVinci because it was supposed to be the absolute best that Samsung could deliver. Did they deliver on that promise? I believe so. I'm a big fan of the Note lineup and I am a big user of the S Pen, more as a mouse on a slightly larger screen than usual though. And the S Pen now has a couple new tricks up its sleeve. They've given it an accelerometer so you can wave it around like a magician's wand to get certain things done on your phone. Cameras are same old same old from S10 Plus, but now there's video bokeh mode. But like DaVinci, great art is steel, so, and Samsung has stolen a lot of the main headline features from the Galaxy Note 10 for this. LG have done it, Huawei have done it on the Mate 20 Pro, and on the P30 Pro, where they can isolate the subject during video. It's old hat, Samsung. Come on, you can't base your marketing on top of that. Like, I would have preferred it if it was in the front to make use of that excellent Samsung selfie camera and maybe offer a secure face unlock a la iPhone, a la G8S, thank you. Time of flight cameras are really interesting. I just don't think they're being utilized properly right now by guys who are putting it on the back. Samsung, just like with the S10 family, leaders in video stabilization. They're rivaling, they seriously rivaling GoPro at this point. Yeah, what they're doing on the Note 10 is just crazy, even compared to the S10 Plus. Putting the video editor in the camera app, excellent. But what happened to the Adobe announcement from the Galaxy S10 launch? What, what happened to that? Where is Adobe Rush for Samsung? Why can't we download it as a standalone app? Why can't we have it forever? You have all the space now. Come on, guys, let's make the Luma Fusion. Things I'm very happy about, Exynos 9825 finally on par with what the guys in the state side are getting on the Snapdragon 855. Two generations now, Samsung has lagged behind Qualcomm in terms of process, in terms of power efficiency, and hopefully they've sorted it out now because it's on seven nanometers. Again, going back to power and battery size, you're looking at small batteries on big screen devices, but they're getting that fast charging a la what OnePlus was from the 7 as well. It's just, it's good. Dex, my personal favorite thing. I use it pretty much every day. My S10 is currently sitting in its Dex dock. I use it as my primary computing machine. Taken from my favorite device of all time, the Motorola Atrix, way back in the day. Samsung Dex now works on Mac and PC via an app. You can plug it just with a USB cable into that and emulate Dex straight on your hardware device. Microsoft is getting close to Samsung. Satya Nadella was on stage for this specific launch. And I'm hoping that Microsoft is gonna take over the AI features as well. Samsung must move all of its services over to Azure. Screen, stole the best in the game. Not much change from the S10 Plus. DisplayMate says it's the best display on the planet right now. Samsung have, have been leading this market for a very, very, very long time. And it's no surprise that they're doing so again. Honestly, this is still going to be one of my most recommended devices for anyone who needs the extra power. This is the most powerful phone that Samsung makes right now. Most features on the phone. Sad about the headphone jack. Sad about the only 1080p screen on the smaller Note 10. Sad about paying 20 grand for a 1080p screen. Sad about a lot of those things. But it's a Note device. It's here. It's derivative. It's an iterative update. It's stolen from all of its competitors. Uh, it's still going to sell like hotcakes, whether we like it or not. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe, like, share, tell your friends. And I will see you when I have a device and I'm ready to review it. Until next time, cheers.